So while you might be planning lots of dates for Valentine's Day, that's not the only date you should be planning special events with your significant other. And an author, Dana Lamb, has made that a bit easier. She's joining me now. Hi, Dana. Hi there, Taylor. So we have the surprise date challenge and we now have a home edition. Talk to us a little bit about your books, how you came up with them and what they're all about. Oh, sure. This actually, my life and business partner, Marty, it was originally all his idea. He's a romantic and one month into dating, he said, I have this idea that we should plan surprise dates for each other every month. And of course I said, absolutely, that sounds wonderful. So this is just something we have done for years. And I realized that it is something that could help other couples as well. And in 2019, we came out with our first book, which was really all about how do you plan a surprise date and why is it important? And then with 2020 being such a crazy year, we thought people need some things to do at home. So we created the home edition which we have right here. I have a copy myself. I've looked through it, I love it. Now, what would you say is your favorite day in here? Ooh, ooh, that's a, I, you know, there's so many great, there's so many great dates. It depends on what you're in the mood for. One of my favorite is the kindness rocks. And that's something you can really, you could even do with your kids, you could do with a girlfriend, but it's just such a positive thing. And I think especially with everything that's gone on in the past year, to just get some stones and put positive messages on them and then go outside and leave them in your neighborhood for your neighbors to find. And maybe someone could be having a bad day or they're depressed or down and your little rock they found was exactly what they needed to pick them back up again. Yeah, it's great. And I like that you point that out because when we were first talking about this, I was like, you know what? I love the idea, but I, I'm not going on any dates right now. I don't have anyone to date. And your first thing was, well, you don't need anyone. You could do this with anyone. Grab your best friend, grab your sibling, grab your parents. You can do it with anyone. Yes. Or date yourself, right? We yeah, need yeah, I can definitely, just... We need to definitely spend time and intention on nurturing our own souls as well. Awesome. So, okay, let's just go through so viewers can kind of get an idea of what is in here. So I see there's a lot of quotes. Yes, try to have some positive quotes in there. Nice pictures, um, kind of support things. For the dates we have, um, chalk paint, dark dining, create space, keep the flame burning, fiesta. Fiesta is the one that caught me. <laughs> Yes. Solve a mystery, visit a museum, um, so much more you could do in here. Right. And there's also, uh, if you notice, there's a QR code and a secret website. So when you get the book, we want you to, there's only so much that we can put in the book. And also we don't want it, we wanted it to be evergreen. So now you can go to the website and for each of the dates, there's a Spotify playlist. So you have cool music for your date as well as links and resources to things that you can download, recipes, all kinds of fun little things. So we want to make it so easy so you have no excuses. We want to make sure that every month you're planning a surprise date, whether it's to date yourself, to date your partner, your your kids, whatever it may be. Perfect. Well, I love it. Um... Definitely need to start checking some of these off. So if people want to find this, where can they find it? It's at surprisedatechallenge.com is our website. And we have a lot of resources there with date ideas and blogs that are free and available, as well as an inspiration kit people can download. And, if, and the book is available there, but it's also available at all major retailers, Barnes and Noble, of course, and Amazon as well. So you can prime it. You could get it right before Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, for sure. Perfect. Well, thank you, Dana. Is there anything else you would want to add? No, I don't. I don't think so. I just make sure that you are committing to planning one surprise date a month. The surprise date challenge is all about planning one surprise date a month for a minimum of three months and then see what it does for your relationship. Because we know from experience and from our clients testimonials that it truly does make a difference in people's lives. Oh, thank you, Dana.